Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's have a look at the brand new transcendent form of Beelzebub. And uh, yeah, excited to show you this video because it's not too often uh, that I get the uh, latest and greatest monster. So let's do the review of that. Okay, uh, Beelzebub, he is kind of a mix of his evolution and ascension form. Uh, he is a bounce speed type with null gravity barrier and null damage wall. And that's a very uh, good uh, double null ability and pretty rare as well. And um, actually, he, uh, he's the same as Arthur in that way. Um, so with this transcendent form, maybe we can uh, guess that the transcendent form of Arthur will be coming soon, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, HP is uh, pretty good for a speed type. Uh, attack is low, uh, but speed is of course very good, uh, especially for a bounce character. Uh, he's got the uh, shield luck skill, uh, which is kind of in keeping with his uh, support uh, role. Uh, the bump combo, he has the, uh, the spread shot, the EL5, uh, which is fairly new and uh, very powerful. Probably, maybe the most powerful spread shot uh, in the game. And then uh, the other bump combo he has is the Meteor Struction. And uh, because he is a transcendent form, this is full power, so it's almost uh, 200,000, which is very strong. Uh, but you can't aim it, so there's a chance it might hit like a shield or a drone, but whatever. And then uh, the strike shot, uh, he gets speed and power up, and then whomever he hits, his teammates, uh, they will get a uh, barrier, uh, which will last for three turns. And uh, yeah, this does not act like um, Lucifer's barrier, where it blocks a certain amount of damage and then it disappears. Uh, this is all damage for the next three turns. And then um, it also uh, kind of, in effect, gives your characters flight and uh, no damage wall. Uh, they won't take damage from those either, uh, or also uh, needle panels, so that's very, very cool. And then uh, it'll also block attacks like poison or um, disease, uh, like you see in uh, Dyna or Scorpica. So yeah, very, very useful. And then uh, one thing that I haven't mentioned is that he has a Demon's Bane, and that is Manser Slayer and Demon Slayer together. And there are lots of uh, enemies uh, with uh, one of those classes, um, so like the zombies, um, or the ability locks, or a bunch of other guys. And then also a lot of bosses uh, with one of those uh, classes. So yeah, he gets the uh, extra damage in a lot of different places. Um, so that really raises his attack as well. And then, uh, because it's a passive ability, it will go into his bump combos. Um, so yeah, in levels or missions with demons or mansers, he is definitely a great choice. Um, and yeah, you know, him being the, uh, the light with the no gravity barrier and the no damage wall, um, you know, he could have some, you know, competition, of course, with like Arthur or Uriel uh, or Rembrandt. Uh, but because he has the Slayer, uh, he has kind of a specific role. And so he can be better than those characters in those uh, certain missions. And then uh, those missions that he is good for, uh, looking at just Colossals and Impossibles, uh, he'd certainly be good for Izanami, uh, Yamato Takeru Tsukuyomi. Uh, he could be good for Kain, uh, because he has the Slayer for the boss. Uh, Devadatta, uh, same thing there, he has the Slayer for the boss, uh, but also he's a bounce with no gravity barrier, no damage wall, which is what you want there. Um, the game with Sight says he would be good for Judas, uh, which could work. Uh, there are the mines in there. I think I'll have to maybe test that to see how that will work. Uh, but he also has the uh, Slayer working in there, so that could be good. Uh, he's great for Yomi, I've seen a bunch of videos of that. And uh, Ashida, and then also uh, Shambhala. And um, yeah, his uh, Strike Shot in particular could be good for presenting, uh, preventing uh, poison damage. So that's why he could be good there. And then um, he's also good for a bunch of uh, Super Extremes. Uh, Barojika, uh, Tsunayoshi, uh, Karen, Fukahire. Mikomo, Scorpica. <laughs> and then all of the other quests where the boss is a uh, uh, demon or mancer, so like Queen Butterfly, uh, Astaroth, uh, Joker, Malita, Takiyasha. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of places. Um, so yeah, very, very versatile character. And um, yeah, I look forward to using him everywhere. And then um, as for Able Berries, that would be good for him. Um, I would say uh, Kin Strength, uh, you know, just to help his Slayer, uh, the Sidekick to help his bump combos, and then um, uh, Strike Haste could be good, 
Uh, that would speed up his uh, strike shot, of course, so you can get more uh, uses out of that. And uh, that would be especially good for uh, Dinah. That's another quest that he's good for. Uh, because you want to, you know, hit your guys to give them the shield uh, so that they can, you know, prevent that disease damage. Uh, that's especially uh, kind of the main gimmick uh, for that quest. Uh, but anyway, let's take him to a quest. And the quest I am taking him to is uh, Yamato Takeru. And uh, yeah, both gravity barriers and damage walls in this quest, so he should be okay here. And uh, there's nobody good in my friends list uh, for this quest, so I decided to bring another Beelzebub. And that should be a good way to look at uh, how he is powerful. Okay, so we see the Slayer mark on the uh, demons uh, as we are aiming. And uh, we only get to see that when the Slayer is uh, passive in the character, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then, um, let's see, recently there was the Hunter Hunter collaboration. And then uh, kind of the, uh, the marquee character there was Gon, uh, Gon Ascension. And then he has a Counter Slayer uh, passive in him. Um, so, you know, when he is aiming, he can see who he has the uh, Slayer of. Uh, which is really useful, because sometimes with Counter Slayer, you don't know uh, who, who you have the Slayer for. Okay, so there we are seeing the Slayer come into play. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of the uh, bump combo yet, but we'll get to that later. Okay, very good. So yeah, the demon up there, he was hit by one of the meteors from uh, Beelzebub, so that's why he has so little hit points now. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to go for the uh, one-hit uh, KO in the next level. So let's see if I can get rid of all of these guys in four turns. Okay, then with the Kushinada, we want to, you know, pinch in between those two guys there. Excellent. Uh-oh. <laughs> so she's in good position, uh, but that robot is still there. So I have to think about getting how I'm going to get rid of that robot. Uh, without uh, moving Kushinado Zero out of the way. So with uh, Misaka here, we'll kind of move to the left, and then hopefully the bump combos will get rid of them. We'll take some damage, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, but to talk about my team real quick, my uh, max luck is uh, Misaka. Uh, she is a bounce with no gravity barrier, um, a two times lightning bump combo, uh, which can stun guys. And then a uh, speed and power up uh, strike shot, uh, which is eight turns, so that can be uh, pretty useful. Okay, so we got the one shot on the big demon, so we can just skip that stage. <laughs> and then uh, my last character that I'm using is Kushinada Zero. Uh, she is a bounce with no gravity barrier, and then um, Paladin Slayer, so she can uh, get extra damage on the boss here. A uh, lock-on trident laser, which is pretty good, and then the um, speed up plus plasma strike shot, uh, which I will show you later. Okay, so there is Misaka's uh, strike shot. Pretty strong, I would say, for an eight-turn uh, strike shot. Okay, Beelzebub has no damage wall, so we don't need to worry about uh, the damage walls. So that gives him a lot of freedom of movement uh, during this mission. Um, I prefer to use uh, Null Gravity Barrier characters in this mission, um, just, um, you know, so that I can uh, have more movement through those Gravity Barriers. Um, but to have both Null Gravity Barrier and Null, null Damage Wall is preferred, uh, because then you get even more freedom of movement. Okay, pretty good. So let's move on to the boss sequence.
Okay, one demon left. I think we can get rid of that with the bump combos. And then, uh, hopefully, let's not get hit by the uh, boss's uh, cross laser. Okay, well, one character, but we'll live. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to start to move my characters from the bottom of the screen towards the top of the screen, hopefully. Alright, we're going to kind of stall this turn so that we can make the heart uh, golden. Alright, then we'll pick that up and then go back to doing damage to the boss. Alright, and then let's use one of my Beelzebub's uh, strike shots. Uh, again, we'll get the speed and power up and then we'll give that uh, barrier uh, to every teammate that we hit. Okay, so we gave it to all of our teammates. That's pretty good. So the next three turns, uh, they will take no damage. And uh, if there were damage walls on this next stage, uh, they would also be immune to those. So that would be pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of the blue demon there. That was a lucky uh, irregular bound. <laughs> Okay, nice damage there. And nice damage there, okay. Alright, last stage. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of the two pairs of enemies up there. And then uh, we can go after the boss. And then uh, with this uh, Beelzebub, with my Beelzebub, let's use his strike shot. Uh, we'll try to give everybody the shield. Not quite. Uh, I only gave it to Kushinata Zero, but actually she's the one that I want to give the uh, shield to most. Um, because it works really well with her strike shot. Um, so she gets the speed up, and then every uh, teammate she hits creates a plasma. Uh, and then I don't need to worry about the damage wall, so I can just move around in a crazy angle and then uh, get some good damage on the boss. And uh, prevent the damage from that cross laser. <laughs> so yeah, Beelzebub is pretty awesome. He is versatile, um, and then he's also a support character, but he's also an attacker. Um, his bump combos do good damage. Uh, and then he has the very unique ability of the, uh, the barrier that he gives to his uh, teammates. Um, so there are a lot of creative ways that you can use him. He's, he's a fun character, uh, but really balanced, too. Okay, so that was uh, Yamato Takeru with a couple of Beelzebub. Alrighty, so hopefully you have this guy and you give him a try. Uh, he is good in a ton of places, and I looked forward to trying him in all of those. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.